Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Adirondack Adventures. Once again, my name is Josh. Today we're doing an update. It's been seven, eight, nine months since my last update. I'm sitting next to Bungie Oak. One thing that has changed is that Bungie Oak is now available for purchase at bungieoak.com. And Bungie Oak is actually going through a big change right now where this design, we haven't seen this design yet. It's been in a couple of my videos in small little segments, but I haven't presented it or introduced it. But this is bungee oak and this is the bungee oak version with their cam straps or, or lashing uh, straps that people call it. And what this does is it modifies the connection point design where you don't have bungee cords that are actually connecting it to and fro you have lashing straps you still have the bungee cord around the belly of the boat but the to and fro bungee cords are now replaced with lashing straps or cam straps this allows you to size the lashing straps so that it just reduces the amount of tension that's on the crossbars for example on a placid boat work shadow where they uh, fix the, the crossbars with an adhesive and they're not bolted or screwed into the gunnel putting unneeded tension on those is this doesn't make any sense so this design eliminates that here bungee yoke is attached to a hornback nutrix 13. the thing about the hornbacks is they get longer is that the front fork kind of gets further and further out so that 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 distance from the balance point to the front connection is increased with longer hornbacks and having a bungee cord that you have to stretch six seven feet wrap and then bring it back and creating all that tension it just this is a much better design so here it is installed on a hornback nutrix 13 here it is installed on the placid boatwork shadow and expect to see a lot more content related to this new lashing cord cam strap version some of the content that has recently come out or has come out in the last month since my first update is lots of portage footage and campsite reviews. All those uh, Adirondack backcountry campsites, uh, portages that I do, I try to give people a good idea of what, to, what you're going to experience when you go out in the backcountry. To me, my videos are just an extension of the Adirondack Paddler's map in a lot of ways. My video is just showing you what it looks like and how long it's gonna take and whether or not you're gonna be able to use a canoe cart or it has to be shoulder carry. How much gear do you wanna bring? Do you wanna carry that cooler of beer with you on this portage or do you wanna go a little bit lighter? What I'm doing is I'm making a video while I'm canoe tripping. A lot of people go out to make a video. That's not what I'm doing. I'm making a video while I'm canoe tripping if you like that content, there's going to be a lot more coming. The 90 miler is coming up. It's going to be my second 90 miler. I don't think I'm going to film it like I did the last time. I don't want to redo content, although it is the 40th anniversary of the 90 miler. So I expect to be doing something in the form of a video that comes out of the Adirondack Canoe Classic this year. But I don't think I'm going to be filming the entire race course like I did last year as a first time. Other than that, guys, thanks again for watching Adirondack Adventures. If you like the content, give me a thumbs up and stay tuned because there's a lot more coming.